Hello, short video on uh, my barbecue rotisserie lamb. This is a follow-up video from my uh, other videos where I've shown um, how I made my rotisserie barbecue. Um, so this is just a short video on my uh, actual lamb. I'm using very basic ingredients. I've got my lamb which is now washed um, and drained. I've got onions quartered, uh, lemons halved, coarse black pepper, whole garlic cloves, fresh rosemary, kosher salt. All we're going to do basically is give the lamb uh, a rub down with half lemons um, and then inside and outside um, use as many lemons as we need to, to wash it down. Um, and then cover it with uh, or sprinkle the kosher salt um, and the black pepper both inside and outside what we're also going to do is leave some whole rosemary fresh rosemary inside the carcass um, also place some fresh garlic cloves um, quite a few inside the carcass um, they've been peeled I'll probably just split them a little bit before I put them in what I'm also going to do is insert or cre create little holes all over the carcass um, and push medium size garlic cloves inside um, and push them in as far as they go. What that will do is when the, when the, when the rotisserie is turning and the, and the lamb is cooking, the garlic cloves will give off their own flavours within, within the meat itself. I've also got a concoction of um, uh, the uh, the um, mixture for um, basting the, the the lamb while it's cooking. I'll probably do that um, every 15, uh, 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, and that's made up um, of a mixture which I've kept overnight. That's um, <coughs> um, one part water, um, half lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. And then we've got garlic cloves inside. We've also got fresh rosemary inside finely chopped onions um, and uh, fresh mint and that's been kept in the fridge overnight so I'll be using that to baste um, the lamb when um, it's cooking I've got all my I've got all my gear set up um, the rotisserie the barbecue um, I've got all my clamps and so forth which I'll be um, placing onto the lamb onto the spit in a few minutes so I'll come back and show you that Right, we're back. Um, what we've got now is we've got the lamb fully prepped. Uh, we've given it a lemon bath, uh, rubbed some olive oil on it, um, placed uh, garlic cloves on the carcass from the outside, sprinkled it with um, uh, kosher salt, uh, coarse black pepper. Um, on the inside, we've got the uh, squeezed lemons, um, onions, um, also sprinkled with black pepper and uh, kosher salt. We've got loads of garlic cloves inside as well and fresh rosemary. We've got it mounted onto the spit the way you see it. Um, it's all tied down um, so it doesn't uh, basically go anywhere. Um, this is how it turns. We've got the counterbalance um, to make sure that the spit is properly balanced. Uh, we've got the carcass nicely stitched up, the legs tied down. So hopefully now we should um, once the coals are ready, we'll start cooking, um, and I think we should uh, be ready to sort of take it off the spit at about three to uh, three and a half, four hours, perhaps four and a half. We've started cook. We'll be starting to cook at the uh, the, the uppermost height. Um, we want to start off slow, um, and towards the last thirty minutes, <coughs> I'll drop it right down to crisp in the skin. Um, I'll be basting it with the. Uh, the mixture I mentioned earlier, every 30 minutes or so, just to keep the, um, the carcass moist. Um, I'll also be using fresh wood to give it a bit of smoky flavour for in the beginning, um, uh, but not too much, um, a, a nice mild fruit wood. Um, so hopefully I'll be seeing you in a few minutes once it starts going. Okay, so we've now got the, um, the lamb uh, on the spit. It's now turning very nicely. I've just begun with um, coal. I got uh, the coal started to fire, to fire up the first batch. Um, I've placed um, additional coals on top. As soon as they light up, 
I'll move them evenly across the whole base of the um, um, the barbecue there. But what I'll probably do is make two piles, one at the um, uh, tail end um, and one at the head end um, and try and reduce the amount of coal in the middle. Uh, that's because the animal is a lot um, thinner in the middle and we don't want to unnecessarily burn um, the, uh, the lamb. So we'll give it another 30 minutes or so and then we'll start giving it its first paste. It's now been on the um, skewer turning for about 15 minutes, so we've just started the whole process. Okay, so the lamb's been on the barbecue now for almost three and a half hours. It's got maybe an hour or so to go. I'll lower it to make it closer um, to the coals to crispen it towards the end. It's got a really nice rich colour. Internal temperature is around 60 degrees, so it's only got another 5 or 6 degrees to go before it's cooked. Excellent. Good eating. Job well done.